Well, I've been teaching for 29 years now, and I've seen a lot of computer programs come and go over the years. But Study Island is one of the most exciting programs I've ever seen, mostly because, number one, it's fun. And the whole idea is that when kids come to school, they need to understand it's okay to have fun. And they're learning when they're doing it. The game features are great, although sometimes we have to modify that a little bit so that they focus on the learning. Um, but when I do turn the games on, they really, really get into it. Um, did I mention it's fun? What's really great about it is it gets students who may be unmotivated in school, um, gives them a chance to feel successful, use the computer, which has become such a m big tool now for these kids since we're moving forward um, with technology and to make them feel successful. And we've received, as I said, the teachers received tons of emails about kids saying how much they loved the assignment, how wonderful it was, and to continue. They love Study Island, and it's better than chores. I went to one of our local high schools, and 11th graders at an urban Philadelphia high school are very, very rough in terms of their audience and in terms of their engagement. And I watched them move through Study Island. I was astounded how engaged they were. So. I feel like um, one of, I think the engagement piece is one part of it, but the content is so rigorous, it's so challenging, that it's what I would want my biological kids to have as well as the kids in my school. I, I do have students in my classroom that don't have internet access at home, and it's been really pleasing to me to walk into our local public library and see my own students on the computers there. Um, I'd walk over to say hello, and lo and behold, they're on Study Island. Um, the access, is not a factor. It's about the motivation that it creates for the students. They desire to get onto this program. And it was really pleasing to see my own students at the public library using Study Island. We have a huge, giant monster bulletin board on display in the main hall with all the classes shown, all the blue ribbons climbing up this big chart. And the race is on. The teachers are just into it. The kids are into it. And they just love it. I love it. It's great. We're going into our second year now using Study Island. And the girls immediately loved it because it was instant. When they were able to uh, achieve a certain level in math, they were rewarded with little blue ribbons. They could then play a game on Study Island. All the incentives were built in for the girls to really enjoy it, and they really, really wanted to achieve. We recognize uh, every Monday morning on announcements on TV, we recognize the classes who have the highest percent, we call them blue ribbons, 80% achievement across the board. And we encourage that um, healthy competition between teachers and kids in classrooms on grade levels. We recognize individual students as well that way. Um, we just handed out our first Study Island t-shirt last week um, for some high achieving kids. But I have some really, and that's been a challenge. This is a Title I high poverty kind of school, but we still have some really high achieving kids. And I have third graders working on fifth grade math and science, and that's really on their level. So that's been a really good asset. The kids like it. They like being recognized. Uh, in fifth grade, it's a really good competition between the teachers. One class had won first place forever and ever and ever. And his class is now two points behind the other class. So it's really kind of nice to see that the teachers are motivated that way, too. Kids use it at home. Parents like it. Um, it wasn't um, as cumbersome as some of the other products we've used. And the students really love it. And I'm thinking more our after-school program, which is for struggling learners, because it's friendly and it's engaging. In addition, the games really add a lot of reward so that students feel that there's something instead of just sitting at a computer that they have something to look forward to. I go pick up my kids at lunch, they're not there. It's like, whoa, I go into the computer room, everybody is working. You don't find that. We're an urban school system. Doing homework is not highly thought of. These kids are working like crazy. Their parents are calling and saying, hey, what's going on? I really think it's a great program for our, our kids. Um, they get an opportunity to practice. It's fun. It's not just the drill and keel. I like the fact that it has the blue ribbons and you have to earn them. So we have competitions between my classes and between all of our classes in our school. And I have a board and keep track of what class has the most blue ribbons won so far. And so that kind of is a good incentive for the kids to keep them going.